Hey guys, Russ here with bishopswest.com. I wanted to make a series of videos about some cool features and benefits that I found when I started using Bitwig Studio. Uh, it took a little while to get my head wrapped around the program, I think, but once I did, it, it really has made sense and made music making more fun to me, actually. So I wanted to share a few of the things that I found with you. I started a probably an hour and a half, almost two hours ago with a live stream on YouTube that I kind of botched. Actually, it wasn't really up to my standards. So I wanted to redo it and do this video for you. So um, here we are in Bitwig Studio. I've loaded up in the Arranger view just a few samples from an old library I have. Um, I'll let you listen to it. just some Latin feeling um, loops going on there and so just to talk a little bit about the the clip launcher view we've got the mix view and I think this is what most Ableton Live users are, are used to seeing I don't use Ableton Live so I'm not the best person to talk about it but this is kind of the the clip view you've got your scenes and then you can drag in individual clips but um, coming from Cakewalk Sonar, I prefer to use the Arrange view. This is more what I'm used to seeing. Everything just laid out from left to right. And so when I find a clip that I like, I'll just drag it in here. So like maybe this piano, right? I'll just drag it right over there. Um, but kind of the cool thing that I like about Bitwig Studio is you've also got the clip launcher over here. And so you can just press L on your keyboard to open that. And it looks a lot like what we just saw down here with the mix view, but things are laid out more like what we're used to seeing from left to right. So now I can just take, well, to start with, let's take all these clips and just drag them into this first scene. Okay, so now if I press play, So you can see over here, the timeline's moving. It's still playing this loop, I think, but um, so I need to press stop here. And then to get the focus back over here, see how these are all grayed out? That's because the focus is over here on the clips that I dragged into this scene. And so I'll just press this button and now everything's back over here. And if I press play here, everything's playing over there, okay? So the, the next thing that's kind of cool though is say I want to do something different, like maybe I don't like that drum part or want to try something else out. It's really easy. So what I can do is just take, um, I used Comparsa Drums 1, I'll use it A2, just drag it over there. So now I press play, but to addition this clip, Try something even more drastic. Let's try that. Okay, but what's cool is every other track is still playing what's over here in the arranger view. It's just this one clip that's going off the scene. So if I unsolo this. So I can hear what a different loop will sound like in the context of the arrangement. To me, that's just a really cool way of auditioning a new clip. Um, let's keep it going.
So just some subtle differences, of, of course, between those two. But then, you know, once I find something that I like, um, maybe I'll put that over there, replace that. Maybe I do like those Maria drums for whatever reason. Then I can take this whole scene and just drag it over here. Okay, and so then, you know, once I do that, it's just a really easy way to arrange things. Set something out in scene one, then make some changes, you know, so for maybe um, set something up for minimal, minimal for verse one, and then add a few things, change a th few things up for verse two, and then drag that over. Obviously more than two bars at a time, but um, I think you could get some interesting arranging going on this way and make it really, really fast. So now I play the whole thing. something really easy to do. So I hope that helps you. Um, like I said, I'm going to be back doing a few more of these videos, trying to do one each day for the next week or two. Um, number one, I've got a couple things I'd like to ask you to do. Uh, number one is if you like this video, please press the thumbs up. That'll help. Also, if you'd like to see more of these and want to get notified when some more are coming, pre please press the subscribe button. And then number three, I would love to hear your comments, your questions. You know, if there are things that you don't know how to do in Bitwig Studio that you would like to know how to do, uh, maybe you've got something that you do in Ableton Live or some other DAW, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear. Uh, maybe I can you know, put together a video and show you how to do that. And then finally, um, like I said, I'm still fairly new to Bitwig Studio, but I found some cool things that really helped accelerate my music making you know, to get going really fast when I open up the program. So I've put together a guide outload, outlining the few things that I've learned about how to do that. It's called Accelerate Your Music Making in Bitwig Studio, pretty descriptive. If you would like to download that, download that guide, please go to bishopswest.com slash bitwig setup and enter your email and I'll send you an email about how to download that. So definitely give that a shot. Again, bishopswest.com slash bitwig setup. Um, and that's all I had. So thanks again for watching. Have a great day.